how to compress your video file into a smaller size using the VLC media player. So hey guys, if you have a large file that you want to compress so that you can save the, some storage onto a device without compromising much of the quality, so then this video is for you. So what we'll be using is we will be leveraging the VLC media player due to its very simple and powerful compression algorithms. So to do this, you need to have your VLC media player ready. So once you have downloaded the VLC media player, you need to fire up your VLC media player in Windows. And once you will do this, you will get this particular interface. Now the next thing you need to do is click onto this media option at the top left. Once you will click here, you can see this option of convert slash save or alternatively you may also choose to press the control and r key combinations once you have done this this particular dialog box will appear and the next thing we need to do is add our video that we want to compress into this dialog box so to do this click onto this add button right here and then you need to choose the file that you want to compress so for example let's say this particular file as you can see that for this particular file you can see the size that it is around 104 megabytes or greater than 100 megabytes as you can also see the extension type it is an mov file so we will be choosing this file so click on to the file and then click on to the open button and here you can see that your file has been loaded into this dialog box then click on to the convert slash save option and from here this particular interface will open up you don't need to worry about anything else just simply click on to this option and from here choose this particular option which is the video h.265 plus mp3 in bracket it is written the mp4 format once you'll click the mp4 format you need to determine the location of this new particular file so to determine the location click onto the browse destination file button and choose any location so for example let's say desktop so now i can also choose to rename it so it is easier to identify so for example let's name it to so here you can see i have renamed this file and then you can also see that the new extension it will be saved with will be an mp4 format so the next thing you need to do is click onto the save button and then once you have done these two changes simply click onto this start button and here you can see this blue bar this represents the amount of progress that has been done and once it reaches to the far end compression will be successfully completed so let us wait for this blue bar to reach to the end so here you can see that the blue bar has successfully reached to the end that means that our video has been successfully compressed. So let's check out the destination folder and see if the compression has worked or not. As you can see I am in my destination folder and we have saved the video with this particular name. So this is our compression video and if I will show you the original video once again you can see that its size was 102 megabytes and now let's check the compressed version and here you can see that the compressed version is 71 megabytes and just to be clear I will show you the contents of the video which are exactly the same here you can see that the length of the compressed video is 10 minutes and 34 seconds and for this video as well the duration is exactly the same that is 10 minutes and 34 seconds so that means no content was trimmed off only the extension was changed which gives us an advantage that the video was able to compress and we could save a ton of storage using this technique so if this video was helpful to you do make sure to drop a like Tell us in the comments if you have any queries or doubts and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.